The fires were put out pretty quickly this afternoon, and fire investigators have been out here looking into what or who might have caused them. People who live around here say this was no accident. It was one fire after another Sunday afternoon in San Jose. Around noon, flames burned through a vehicle and personal possessions at a homeless encampment near the San Jose airport. By 2 p.m., a second fire at a nearby section of the encampment flared up, sending a column of thick black smoke into the sky. That's how it's said. These are people's homes right here. This man was out grabbing a bite to eat when a neighbor called to tell him his tent and belongings were on fire. He came back to find everything he owned was incinerated. I'm signed up, hopefully, with the, the city or home for, or whoever is doing the housing. You know, hopefully this can accelerate things because... Uh, I, I need some um, help right now. San Jose Fire contacted the Red Cross to assist him and others displaced by the fires. We come to this area uh, pretty frequently because there are a lot of people here and like I said, a lot of vegetation. We'll be working to see if we can figure out what the cause of it was today. Scott Largent, a homeless advocate who lives in his RV parked at the encampment, says the city has flyers out, warning some people in the area they'll need to move soon. He thinks that's changed the atmosphere among people turning here for shelter. So you see right here, you must remove all of your property property from this location. He says people are following the orders given last week to vacate their space and believes they're moving into other areas of the encampment and clashing with people already settled in. People get territorial out here in a way and it's like they're sandwiching more people together that are not used to being around each other. That's why I think this stuff is happening. The phased sweep of the encampment is organized by Home First, an organization that's contracted with the city to provide homeless outreach and resources. They're coming in Monday. People are terrified. People are scared. People don't have anywhere to go. We saw San Jose police vehicles this afternoon shortly after the second fire was put out, and it appeared they did make an arrest but have not shared information at this time regarding if there's any connection to that arrest and how the fire started. I also reached out to the city of San Jose, Santa Clara County officials, as well as Home First for details on this upcoming sweep of the encampment, but so far have not heard back. Frank. Emma Goss, live tonight in San Jose. Emma, thank you.